Hello. Hello, good morning, sirs. So just comment your name while waiting for the others. So we will start at around maybe after 15 minutes. So just comment your place so that we could uh, acknowledge, okay? So we just wait for the viewers, maybe until uh, 30, for the viewers, we will start. So the overview for this uh, online review, so we will discuss first lecture. So maybe it will uh, take only 15 minutes. And after the lecture, we will this uh, we will have drills, and then also after the drills, so we will have uh, some tips, some tips in terms of uh, classroom management. Okay, so today we will discuss uh, curriculum, curriculum management, and then also uh, at the end of this uh, online review, so maybe we will select one scholar one scholar that is uh, free, free to enroll in our online review platform. So we, we will just wait for the viewers. So just write your uh, place and then also para, para ma-acknowledge namin kayo. Okay, uh, viewers, uh, so maybe we will select. Thank you, uh, Ed Skilasaro. So for those who want to take a uh, pre-board exam, so just visit our page. So just take the pre-board exam. Then the result will be on May 29. So pipili kami ng scholar, okay, based on the result. So take your time to answer. Hindi siya, uh, hindi, hindi man ngayon pwede bukas. But as of now, we have the result. So all are failed. So please. Uh, study and then also take the pre-board exam for professional education to avail, okay? Para maka-avail kayo ng scholar, okay? We will be selecting one scholar, okay? And then also, uh, I would like to acknowledge Bernadette Atip. Yes, good afternoon po, sir, watching from Isabella. Yes, good morning. Good afternoon, Bernadette. And then also, we have Galsote. Joe May Galsote, hello, hello po sir, good afternoon. So now we will, uh, we will tackle curriculum management. Then uh, don't miss also, I have some tips about classroom management. It is very important kasi uh, lumalabas lagi siya sa let exam because uh, there are situational questions about classroom management. And then I will uh, talk about how to handle student, okay? How to handle student with some uh, with some behavioral problems, okay? So I will be giving you the 21st century educators, okay? So please stay tuned, cheers. I would like to acknowledge also Arya Rojo, okay? Mr. Uh, Miss Arya Rojo, good afternoon from the Philippines. Also, uh, I would like to announce that uh, we are still accepting enrollees for the online review that is until May 31, just to avail the 50% discount. So to all social studies major, so we, we will start uh, May 3rd, uh, June 8th for the review, okay? So enroll now to avail 50% discount until May 31. And then for the for all uh, special licensure examination, Middle East, so we will start by June 8 also. So first subject, we will discuss uh, professional education, okay? So schedule is 7 p.m. UAA time, United Arab Emirates time, so stage, uh, keep, posted dun sa group natin, SPLE Middle East uh, enrollees. Also for Philippines, we will start June 8. So please uh, enroll. enroll. Enrollment is up to May 31. Okay? 
Also, I would like to acknowledge uh, Edna Lazaro from Dubai. Good, good afternoon. Uh, good morning, Miss uh, Edna. So we have now 11. So maybe we can uh, we can start by 40. So just share. Cheers. Uh, share the live. We still need to wait for the viewers, so by maybe by nine. Uh, what time is now? By nine fifteen, we will proceed. Okay, we will start. So those who want to enroll, uh, we're still accepting until May thirty one, uh, fifty percent discount. So you can avail that uh, promo. That includes reviewers. That includes teacher a comprehensive reviewers for all the subjects. Also, we have virtual class every week, every weekend, which is scheduled by uh, Saturday or and then Sunday. And then weekdays is more on drills. Also, we have faculty, faculty for major in math major in biology, major in English, major in TLE, and then also major in Filipino. So those who want to enroll, you may enroll until May 2031 to, uh, to obey the pro promo, okay? So we have nine uh, viewers, so maybe we will wait on maybe another five minutes. So just comment your place, okay? So shout, shout out to Bernadette, all, from Isabella, also Miss Arya Rojo, okay, Miss Jo Galsote, and then also Arya Rojo is watching from Cebu. Okay, good morning, uh, good afternoon. Okay, any questions, cheers. Para I will uh, any questions about uh, your review or any suggestion or any comments. So now, just after this uh, live, just check the page. We have pre-board exam. Okay, take your time to answer the pre-board exa exam. Okay. So we will be selecting scholars based on the result. Okay, we will start now. So we just. Uh, maybe I will start now, okay? Now we have seven. Uh, actually, the schedule is 3 p.m., okay? So I started it early. So now we will proceed for the discussion. Okay, so please participate yours because at the end of the online review, I will be, announce, uh, I will be announcing the scholar Okay, based on your performance during drills, okay? So now, so we will discuss about curriculum, okay? So what is your understanding about curriculum here? So one word, so just comment one word. What is your understanding about curriculum? Just one word. Anyone? Just comment one word, okay? I will give you five seconds to answer. What is your understanding about curriculum? So we will discuss curriculum today, Curric curriculum management, okay, how we develop the curriculum, how we implement the curriculum, and then how we assess the curriculum. So now, just give me one word, okay? What is your understanding about curriculum? Anyone? Anyone? <clears throat> 
<coughs> Anyone? What is your understanding about curriculum? All of you are fresh graduate, so you have the idea what is cu curriculum is all about. Oh, for me, curriculum, it is what? It is a, a guide in teaching and learning. Ama? It is what? A set of materials. It is a program of studies. Oh, yes, of course, Miss Jogal Sote. Curriculum is a course. Yes, it is a course. What else? Any idea about curriculum? Okay. Thank you, Miss Jo. Curriculum, okay, it is what? It is everything that planned by the school. Who are those? They are the administrator, the management, and then the teachers. Okay? So they are the forefront of the implementation of curriculum. Okay? Take note of that. Okay? Also, Curriculum is the total learning experience of students. Pa palagi yan tinatanong, okay? It is the total learning experience of individual or the student, okay? It is the central to education, okay? Curriculum is the learning institution, okay? It is the heart of the institution. It means curriculum is the heart. Okay? It is the heart of any learning institution. It means school cannot operate without curriculum. It is the face of the school. Okay? Pag sinabi mong face of the school, it is what? Face of the school it, in terms of quality education. Ano bang meron... Uh, education for that school. If I will the administrator, check our curriculum. So it is the face of the school. Okay? So now, we will discuss about types of curriculum. Okay? We have the first type of curriculum. We have the recommended curriculum. Okay? Pag sinabi natin recommended curriculum, Pag sinabi natin recommended curriculum, proposed by scholars and professional organization. Okay? It is what? Comes from the national agencies like Department of Education, Department of Science and Technology, Commission of Higher Education. So those are the agencies. Okay? Those are the professional organizations that has a stake in educational. That we call recommended curriculum. Yung ginagamit ngayon ng DepEd, ng DepEd, that is recommended curriculum. Okay? Okay, proposed by the scholars. Tandaan nyo, proposed by the scholars and professional, so that is recommended curriculum. Okay? Yes. Yes, Arya, Chen. Okay, next, we have written. Okay? Pag sinabi natin, written curriculum includes documents, course study, or syllabi handed down to the schools, district, division, department, colleges for implementation. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin, written, written uh, documents, written curriculum, what? It is most, what? It is made by? Curriculum expert. Sabi ko nga, those are the, ad, the administ school administrators and then also the experts and then also the teachers. Okay? An example of this is yung lesson plan ng mga teachers. Okay? Lesson plan of each classroom teachers. Okay? It is also the curriculum embedded in your school currently that we have in the school that is a written curriculum that is mandated by the educational expert. So that is written curriculum. Okay? So next. So, yes, you are right. 
modules. Ah, no, Arya Rojo, okay, uh, Commission of Higher Education, okay. That is also the one of the example of uh, educational expert. Uh, Dex, uh, DepEd, DOST, CHED, TESDA, okay. So next we have taught, taught curriculum. It is varied activities that are implemented in order to arrive at the objectives or purpose of the written curriculum, okay? So different plan activities which are put into action in the classroom. So that is uh, in terms of implementation, yung tinuturo ng teachers. That's what the teachers actually teach in the classroom. So that is taught curriculum. Did you get me? So that is taught curriculum. So next, so we have supported curriculum. Pag sinabi natin supported curriculum, materials which support or help in the implementation of the written curriculum. So what are those supported materials or supported curriculum? So meron tayong what? Meron tayong, meron tayong textbook, right? Meron tayong computers. Meron tayong laboratory equipment. Okay? Meron tayong uh, AVR or audiovisual ma uh, materials, AVM, and other school facilities. So that is supported curriculum. So in order to have a successful teaching other than the teacher, there must be a material which should support and help in implementing the instruction. So that is supported curriculum, okay? There is materials during the implementation of the teacher. Kaya tayo minsan ng teacher, uh, we have what? We have laboratory. So that is the example of supported curriculum. We, we will discuss the theory concept and then also we will apply. So that is a set, uh, uh, support supported curriculum. Next, we have assessed curriculum. Assessed curriculum is tested or evaluated curriculum. It means what? Series of evaluation done by the teachers. So what are the examples? We have pen and paper paper test. So that is the example of uh, assessed curriculum. Okay. So it is what? It is a series of evaluation done by the teachers. Assess curriculum. Example is examination. Okay? For us to assess. Ano na ba yung, yung learning ng bata? Okay? For us to modify our curriculum. So we need to assess the learning of the student. Okay, next. We have... We have learned experience. Pag sinabi natin learn and experience, learning outcomes achieved by the student. It means what? It is what the student actually learned. Okay? Or we call that the result. Okay? The result of the learning after we implement. So that we call learned experience curriculum. The result or achieve outcomes achieved by the student, okay? So that is learned curriculum. Next, we have hidden, oh, kapag sinabi natin hidden curriculum, unwritten rules, values, and normative patterns of behavior which students are expected to conform and learn while in the school. Kapag sinabi natin hidden curriculum, what? It is an intended curriculum which is not deliberately planned, but it modifies learning outcomes. What is the example of this? Teacher learning instruction. Kapag sinabi natin hidden curriculum, ito yung uh, ini-integrate ng teacher during the discussion. Okay? During the discussion. Na yung integrate ng teacher is wala sa curriculum. Maybe it's 
based uh, their for their experience. So it is teacher learning interaction, okay, during the discussion, during the implementation of the curriculum. Okay, next we have concomitant. Concomitant meaning things that are taught at home. So those are the experience that are part of a family's experiences or related experiences sanctioned by the family. Okay, it is what? It is includes the values, ethics, morals, and behaviors. It is out of school learning. Sinabi nga, di ba? Derived from home, church, government, industries, and so forth. So that is concomitant curriculum. Okay? Things that are taught at home. Those experience that as part of family experiences or related experiences sanctioned by the family. So that is concomitant curriculum. So now, we have also pantom. Kapag sinabi natin pantom curriculum, the messages prevalent in and through exposure to media. So ano yung pantom? It is one of the example of this is online articles. So that is a pantom curriculum. That is through media. Online books, online library, online journal. This is the kind of learning derived from the television and other media. So that is pantom curriculum. Okay? It derives from the social media, okay? And then the next one is we have null. Null curriculum means what is not taught, okay? Oh, null, what is not taught. It means not teaching some particular idea or set of, of ideas. Maybe in the curriculum, hindi alam ng teacher, kaya hindi niya, hindi niya tinu tinuturo, okay? So may nakaligtaan si teacher dun sa curriculum. What is not taught? So that is null curriculum. Teacher's lack of knowledge. That is the example. Kumbaga, nandun sa curriculum, but si teacher hindi niya tinuro yung lesson na yun because he don't have enough idea, okay? Lack of knowledge para ituro, i-implement yung curriculum. So that is none. Okay, the next one is we have para. Para cur uh, curriculum refers to the resources for learning available outside the school walls, such as art institution, museum, and other outside school okay, facilities. So that is para. Okay, next, after this, the last last one, oh, we have drills, okay, take note, uh, please cooperate, okay, meron tayong, at the end of this uh, online, meron tayong kukunin na scholar, one scholar to attend the review platform, okay, teacher A platform, online review, okay, the last one is we have societal, kapag sinabi natin societal, it is the massive ongoing informal curriculum of family Neighbors, church, church, occupations, mass media, and other socializing forces that educate all of us throughout the life. So that is society influences. That is society influences. Okay? Now, we will go to drill. Okay? Okay, drill number one. Okay? So we have 20 drills for curriculum. So first drill, when teachers conduct a series of evaluation to determine the extent of teaching, what must be implemented? So based on my discussion, balikan natin yung discussion natin. Okay? A, hidden curriculum. B, learned curriculum. C, taught curriculum. And then D, assessed curriculum. So what will be the answer? 
Diba diniscuss ko yun? We have different types of curriculum. Elmer, yes. Uh, Joy Hamulin, okay, D. Elmer Guda, D. Edsky, D. Edar, D. Okay, the correct answer is letter D. Diba? Kapag sinabi natin uh, evaluation, kasi dun sa tanong, andun na yung sagot niya. Series of evaluation. Okay? Another term of evaluation is assessment. So, assess curriculum. It is what? It is the series of evaluation done by the teachers to determine the student progress. So, that we call assess curriculum. Okay? You got the correct answer, all of you. Okay? J, Juliet, Catherine Mangino, my student, Darwin, and then Joe. So, you... The answer is recommended curriculum. Okay? Okay. Number two. Okay. Number two. While waiting for the screen, thank you guys. Correct answer. Yes, Joe. Joe D. Darwin, assess correct. You are correct, Darwin. Okay. The Philippine Association for Teachers and educators, or we call that PAFTE, propose a new curriculum for teachers' education to make the graduates globally competitive. What type of curriculum is this? We have A, para curriculum, B, societal curriculum, C, taught curriculum, D, recommended curriculum. Cheers, write the, okay, write the number, question, okay? And then, followed by your answer, okay? Number, number cheers, okay? Number, and then followed by your answer, okay? Okay, so take note cheers. While answering, write question num number, and then also the, your answer, okay? Okay, number two, the answer is letter D, recommended curriculum. Kasi nga, proposed by the organization. Okay, proposed by the expert. Philippine Association for Teachers and Education, that is organization. So that is recommended. Okay, kapag, oh, may, may, may key term dyan, propose. Okay, kasi minsan sa, sa tanong, ando na yung sagot. The word propose is also recommended. Okay, propose a new cur curriculum, recommended. So the answer is letter letter D. Okay, all of you got the correct answer. Joe, the correct answer is letter D. Okay, recommended curriculum. Okay, Elmer, Darwin, you got the correct answer. Sharon, Sharon Lozano, and then Aria Rojo, Juliet Mascardo, and then also Jamie Sokdad Bahu, Idar. And then also Catherine Mangino. So the correct answer is letter D, recommended curriculum. Okay, number three. Take note, cheers. Write the question number, okay, followed by your answer. Okay, number three. Attorney Calvin, the executive director of the NGO Save the Earth for a Future, will be the keynote speaker in the symposium where environment care and protection will be discussed for the new curriculum in ecology. Which curriculum level will be this? Will this be? So we have the choices are A, instructional, B, exper experiential, D, societal, D, institutional. So what will be the correct answer for number three? Okay. Okay, for number three, what will be the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer for number three is letter C. Okay, because we are talking about society. It's relating to society or social relationship. So, the answer is societal. Societal. Okay, take note cheers, ah. In the question, minsan ando na yung sagot. You have to comprehend the questions before you answer. 
Okay? My advice is read it twice, thrice. Okay? Number four, this curriculum concept includes the process of planning, organizing, implementation, and evaluation. Oh, what will be the answer? Curriculum development, B, curriculum management, C, curriculum assessment, D, curriculum implementation. For number four, this curriculum concept includes the process of planning, organizing, implementation, and evaluation. What will be the correct answer for this? A, development, B, management, C, assessment, D, curriculum. Yes, the correct answer is curriculum development. Kasi andun yung process of planning, organizing, implementation, and evaluation. It means it is the step-by-step -step process used to create or design the curriculum. That is development, curriculum development. Kapag sinabi natin curriculum management is a structure or set of activities designed to assess and adjust your curriculum. So that is curriculum management. Okay? While curriculum assessment, cheers, curriculum assessment, it is the process of collecting information for you in terms of evaluation. It is evaluation, curriculum evaluation. Okay? Putting into what? Into practice naman yung implementation. Curriculum implementation is putting into practice. It is the process wherein the learners acquire the planned and tended knowledge skills during the implementation. So that is curriculum implementation. Okay? So the correct answer is letter A, curriculum development. Okay? Okay. Joe, you got the correct answer. Sharon, also Edna. Okay, Arya, so you got the correct answer. Okay, number five. Number five. While waiting for the screen, so just comment your place so that we could acknowledge you. Okay, number five. Instructional in a curriculum is said to be blank when it, when it is focused on the methods that draws on the social problem, the needs, the interests and abilities of the student. The, uh, the choices are, we have subject-centered design. So we have problem-centered design. We have learner-centered design. And then we have the result-centered design. Okay? So what will be your answer for number five? Sabi nga, focus on the methods that draws on the draws on the social problems, the needs, and then the interest of the student. So what will be your answer for number five? The word social problems. Okay? Andiyan na. Social problems. It means what? It is problem-centered design. Okay? Number five, the correct answer is letter B. Okay? Letter B, problem-centered design. Okay? Kapag sinabi nating uh, kapag sinabi natin <clears throat> learner, learner-centered design, that is holistic development of learning. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin result-centered design, learning outcomes or learning experiences. So that is result-centered design. While subject-centered design, teachers with full control. Subject-centered design. Teacher has a full control okay, of the curriculum. So that is subject. While problem-centered design, of course it is about problem, from the keyword problem, social problem. So the answer will be letter, the answer is B. Okay, number six. What part of curriculum 
will the experience of the students in school be uh, evident? A, the choices are curriculum planning, B, implementation, C, assessment, then D, evaluation. Okay? What part of curriculum will the experience of the student in school be evident? O, ano ba yon? During planning, okay? implementation, assessment, or evaluation? What will be the answer? The correct answer is letter, what? Letter, letter B, curriculum implementation. Okay, bakit curriculum implementation? Because experience of the student, okay? Experience of the student ang pinag-uusapan. Hindi siya evaluation at the end of the instruction, yung evaluation, yung experience during implementation. So the answer is curriculum implementation. Okay? Faye, you got the correct answer. Also Darwin and then Catherine. So you got the correct answer. Take note of that years. Curriculum implementation is the process. Okay? Or that is learning experience. Curriculum implementation. Okay? So now, we will go to number seven. So, what social reality affects the school in the curriculum? Okay? What social reality affects the school in the curriculum? The choices are cultural development, B, students' behavior, C, changes in gender role, D, acquired knowledge. What social reality affect the school and the curriculum? For number seven, okay? What will be the answer for number seven? Social reality. So the answer for number seven is Letter C, gender role, okay? Letter C, okay? Gender role. So number eight, number eight C, number seven C, the most important criteria for an effective and efficient curriculum. So what is the criteria, okay? What is the criteria for an effective and efficient curriculum? For number eight, the choices are relevant activities, B, teaching activities, C, clear objectives and consistency, D, implementing rules. Of course, the most important criteria, okay, for an effective and efficient curriculum is you have clear objectives. What is your objectives? And also consistency. So that is uh, the criteria, the important criteria to be an effective and efficient okay, curriculum. So you have to have clear objectives and then also consistency. So the answer is letter, letter C. Okay? I'll, yes, letter C. Okay, number nine. A modern school should have a curriculum that is black. Oh, for this 21st uh, century education, okay? What should have a curriculum that have, okay? The choices are A, based on books available in school, B, planned by the principal, supervisor, superintendent and teachers, C, planned by the expert and students, D, provided by DepEd and followed by all schools. So, ano bang meron tayo ngayon as a 21st century educators? 
the correct answer for number 9 is letter C. Sabi ko nga, di ba, before, curriculum are planned by the expert. Who, who are those experts? Administrator, teachers, uh, educational agencies, also student. Okay? Because as an expert, okay, we should what? We should consider the students. Ano ba yung kailangan matutunan ng studyante? Doon tayo gagawa ng curriculum based on the needs of the student. Okay? Take note of that. Based on the needs of the student. So the correct answer for number 9 is letter C. Okay, number 10. What is the latest curriculum introduced in the elementary and secondary education? Okay. The choices are a. Restructured basic education curriculum. B. Basic education curriculum. C. Ladderized type curriculum. D. National career assessment curriculum. Okay? Pag sinabi natin latest yung currently we are using. So what we are using now is K-12. to Oh. K-12. What is the answer? For number 10. We are using now K-12. It was introduced in the elementary and secondary education. That is restructured basic educational education curriculum. That is K-12. Restructured. Okay? The correct answer is letter B. Uh, letter A. Restructured. Letter A. Restructured curriculum. Okay? Okay, you got the correct answer, Bev. Catherine, okay? You got the correct answer also, Edna Lazaro. Okay? Number 11. Okay, Bell Rafael, you got the correct answer as well. So what kind of curriculum is achieved when the learning outcomes are achieved by the student? Okay. Number 11. What kind of curriculum is achieved when the learning outcomes are achieved by the students, the choices are we have assessed curriculum, we have learned curriculum, we have continuing curriculum, and then D, we have modified curriculum. So what will be the answer for number 11? Sabi nga, di ba? Learning outcomes. Learning outcomes are achieved by the student. From the word learning, learning outcomes, hindi naman siya pwedeng assess. Hindi naman siya, hindi naman siya pwedeng modify. ba? Hindi naman siya pwedeng continuing curriculum. Pag sinabi natin learning outcomes, of course, the result. Okay? The result. That will be learn curriculum. Okay? The result. That is learning outcomes, learn curriculum. Okay? You got the correct answer for number 11, Grace, Loreto, Sharon, Mangino, Edna, Sandy, Faye, Joe, Darwin, Juliet, and then Bev. Also, Arya, Jay, Loreto, Amin, Catherine, and then also Rafal. So you got the correct answer for number 11 which is learn curriculum. Take note of that, ah, kasi dun sa question, andun na yung sagot nyo. Okay? So just to comprehend. Okay, number 12. Curriculum is defined as a total learning experiences of the student in the school. Diba? Yun yung sinabi ko sa'yo. Uh, the curriculum, it is the total learning experience of the student. So what part of the curriculum will assure these learning experiences? So what part of the curriculum? A. Curriculum assessment. B. Curriculum planning. C. Curriculum implementation. D. Curriculum evaluation. Okay? Diba? Sinabi ko sa inyo, learning experience or the result of the Lesson. So what will be the answer? Learning experience. 
For number 12, the correct answer is letter C, implementation. Diba? Sabi ko sa inyo, it is the total learning experience or the result or the outcome. Okay? That is curriculum implementation. That is letter C. Okay? You got the correct answer. Sandy, Juliet, Catherine, Sharon, Edski, Faye, Juliet, and then also Bev, Joe, Darwin, Grace, and then Loreto, the answer is letter C, okay? Curriculum implementation. Okay, number 13. This phase of curriculum development involves decisions, among other things, on grade placement and sequencing of content. Which phase is this? A, we have curriculum planning. B, we have curriculum evaluation. C, we have curriculum organization, and then we have curriculum implementation. So what will be the answer for number 13? Okay. For number 13, okay, while waiting for the answer, cheers, we have pre-board exam. Okay, just check a uh, teacher eight page just to answer because we, we will select one of the scholars who can uh, enroll, okay, uh, on June 8. So just answer the pre-board exam. The result will be on May 29, okay? We will be giving uh, scholars, so those who got uh, perf uh, high, highest score for the pre-board exam, okay? For number 13 years, the answer is curriculum organization. Kasi nga, it's about what? It's about decisions, okay? Pag sinabi natin organization, it is what? It is decisions of sequencing of the content and grade placement are done on the level of curriculum organization. Okay? It is about what? It is in this level, the curriculum developer, developer determines the scope and sequencing of the content in each subject based on the design of the curriculum. Okay, number 14. Number 14, the Filipino learner envisioned by the Department of Education in the light of K-12 curriculum is, A, we have technologically literate and logistically developed Filipino. B, functionally literate and logistically developed Filipino. C, we have scientifically advanced and values-oriented Filipinos. And then D, national-oriented and internationally competitive Filipinos. What will be the answer for number 14? Okay. Letter, the answer for number 14 is letter... <laughs> No. Kapag Filipino, iba Filipino learners for for today's K-12 curriculum, ano ba dapat? So the answer is letter, walang nakakuha sa inyo, walang nakakuha ang tamang sagot. The answer is letter B, functionally literate and logistically developed Filipino. Okay? So I will discuss with you uh, the frame for the K-12 curriculum, okay? The correct answer is letter B, functionally literate or logistically developed Filipino. Diba? Yung K-12, holistically developed Filipino with 21st century education. Tingnan nyo, Okay? Based on that, okay, so information, media, and te technology skills, okay, it's about skills ang pinag-uusapan sa K-12. Learning and innovation skills, di ba? Communication skills, life and career skills, okay, 
information media and technology that is higher education learning and innovation skills that is employment entrepreneurship so that is holistically developed filipino with 21st century skills for the k-12 okay take note of that the answer is letter b okay so now i will give you a situational uh, situational questions take note of this ah uh. cheers please uh, this is very important because more on situational questions and tinatanong sa professional education. So I will give you some uh, situational questions and then after that, I will give you uh, uh, the, uh, what is this? Uh, tips, okay? Tips on how to handle classroom management. Okay, situational questions. We will proceed. Okay. Uh, while waiting for this screen, just to remind you, cheers, I have pre-board examination. So just uh, answer the pre-board examination. Uh, we will be selecting one scholar, okay? The result will be released by, by May 29, okay? Okay, okay number 15. <clears throat> Juan has been disturbing the class by his unruly behavior or unwanted behavior. So as a teacher, what should you do first? So ano yung gagawin mo? Okay, that is a situation of questions. Ilagay niyo yung sarili niyo as a future teacher. Okay, you have disturbing uh, some student, okay, disturbing the class by his misbehave, misbehaving, okay, by shouting, throwing garbage, throwing trash, okay? What should you do first as a teacher? <clears throat> a, call his parents to a dialogue. B, explain to him the bad effects of his behavior. C, bring him to principal's office. D, scold him in front of this classmate. So what will be your action as a future teacher? Okay, all of you answer letter B. Explain to him the bad effect of his behavior. So that is correct. Take note that the role of the teacher in the, in the 21st century, century education is facilitating or facilitator. Facilitator. Okay, student-centered tayo ngayon. Okay, student-centered, it means we focus on student progress. We focus on the student competencies. Diba? We focus on the student skills. So the letter B is, of course, explain to him the bad effects of, this, of his behavior. Okay? Don't call his parents. Okay? That is not good. Bring that student to principal's office. That is not good. Mayroon yan side effect or negative effect sa bata. Diba? But explain to him privately. Thanks to the cheers. Explain scolded student privately. Iba yung generation na yun kaysa sa generation noon. Okay? Scold him in front of this, of this, of their classmates. So that is not good, okay? So the best answer is explain to him the bad effects of his behavior, okay? So I will give you some, some uh, tips, okay? As a teacher, as a future teacher, okay? So we will be dealing with a student, okay? We will be dealing with a different behavior, we have a different uh, culture of the student, okay? The best uh, strategy for the teacher in the first day of class is to create the expectation. Take note of that, cheers. Create the expectation that courteous behavior is the norm in your classroom. So in the first day of uh, class, you have to create the expectation. 
regardless of whether student practice courtesy outside of the classroom. As a teacher, you have to model courtesy at every possible moment. In the morning, just maybe some student uh, greet you, good morning. You have to respond. Minsan yung teacher, dadaanan lang yung student. So there is, what, a negative effect sa student. Diba? We should be a model of courtesy. Okay? Like, thank you. Okay? I'm sorry, excuse me with all the students, and insist that all students use the same courteous words with you. Take note of that years. Kasi ang daming tinatanong sa pro professional education about classroom management on how you handle students' behavior. Okay? When students are in your classroom, do not allow words of discord, courtesy, or sh shut up, stupid word, idiot, etc. Okay, in the first day of class, implement that rules. Okay? Take note of that years. Okay, number 16. Uh, situational questions. Pedro has a problem of frequent absences and tardiness in submitting projects, assignments. This could be a result of what? A. Poor study habit, poor study habits, and then also low level of aspiration. C, lack of motivation. D, low intelligence. So what will be the answer for number 16? Pedro has a problem of frequent absences and tardiness in submitting project. So this could be a result of what? A result of the correct answer for number six, uh, 16 is letter C, lack of motivation. Okay? So as a teacher, we uh, our role is to motivate. Diba? Motivation. It strengthens behavior. Kapag, kapag motivate natin yung bata, okay? Ano yung nangyayari? Strengthens their behavior. Okay, di ba andun yun sa Maslow needs? Okay, yung self-esteem. Okay? Take note of that. We need to motivate students. Okay? So that is lack of motivation. The correct answer is letter C. Okay? Juliet, J, and then Joe, Amin, Catherine, Ed, Edna, you got the correct answer. Okay? Announcement shares, we have pre-board exam today, so just uh, take time to answer the pre-board exam, and then the result will be on May 29. We will be selecting scholar for the free review, okay? Number 17, a child develops self-confidence, okay? A child develops self-confidence if he is praised and acknowledged of his good deed, okay? B, he is treated justly and fairly. C. He is ignored when he commits mistakes. D. He is allowed to do whatever he wants. So what will be the correct answer for number 17? The child develops self-confidence. It's saying to number 16, when we praise to them, okay, there is what? There is a positive effect. <clears throat> diba? Yung confidence niya na boost Yung self-confidence. When we praise and acknowledge student. Thank you for that. Cheers. So, as you, as a future teachers, you have to what? Our role is to motivate them. To facilitate the student. Kahit maliit na bagay na ginawa ng student, we have to praise and acknowledge. Kasi meron yung side uh, positive effect sa bata. Okay? Kahit maliit na bagay, we need to acknowledge. We, we have to praise. Okay? 
just to motivate the student or to develop self-confidence for the student? So the answer is letter A. So you, all of you got the correct answer for number 17. Okay, now we will go to number 18. Okay, number 18, what should you do when your student throw a trash in front of you and say a nasty words about you? So how will you deal with that behavior? Okay. What should you do when your student throw a trash in front of you and say nasty words about you? What will you do as a teacher? A, punish the en entire class for someone's misbehavior. B, let them write anonymously their complaints about you. C, punish the entire class unless one admits to the wrongdoing. And then D, subject them to difficult recitation or test to get even. So what will be your action for that misbehaving, okay? Or misbehavior of the student during your class. So what will be your answer? So the correct answer for number 18 is letter C. Punish the entire class unless one admits to the wrongdoing. Kapag alam mo na kung sino yung may gawa, so you have talked to him, talk to that student privately. Okay? I told you, wag kayong magpapahiya ng student because there is a negative effect to student. Okay? You have to talk to the student privately. Okay? So the answer is letter uh, C, okay, for number 18. Okay, number 19. It is the primary task of a classroom teacher. So what is the primary task of a classroom teacher? Okay, A, to teach and follow the curriculum set by the Department of Education. B, to motivate and guide the students to learn in the most effective and efficient way. C, to develop in the student conformity to the standard of life. D, to teach students become responsible and then productive. What will be the answer for number 19? Okay, all of you answer letter D. So for number 19, the correct answer is letter D, okay? Letter D, to teach students to become responsible and productive, diba? For this 21st uh, century education and the K-12 uh, education, we need to develop responsible students and productive students, okay? So that is the aim for the K-12 curriculum. Okay, next 20. The most, the answer is letter D for number 19. The most important factor that would make a successful teacher. So what is the important factor that would make a successful teacher? The choices are A, we have the intellectual abilities and seminars they allotted. B, the personality towards students and co-teachers. C, their competencies of, their, of the subjects. D, the expertise in the classroom management. So what will be the important factor? All options are correct, but we need to select the best answer. So what will be the, the most important? All of that are most are important, but there is the most important factor that would make a successful teacher, what will be? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got wrong answer, okay? Yes, Ben, the correct answer is letter B, okay? The personality towards students and co-teachers, that is the most important factors that would make a successful teacher. If you have a, 
uh, uh, pers uh, personal, a uh, good relationship with the student, good relationship for your co-teachers, okay? That will be a successful teacher, okay? Take note of that. That is the most important factor. But all the options are important, but the most important is the personality towards the students and then also your co-teachers. Okay, announcement teachers. I have pre-board exam today. Uh, just check the page teacher A and then answer the pre-board exam. We will uh, we will uh, announce the result on May 29, yung qualified to be scholar for the online review. Okay, take time to uh, take the exam, the pre-board exam for professional education. Okay. Which of the classroom activities below is effective? So, we have the option. A, the concept learned is applicable to daily life. B, the techniques and approaches used are varied or different. C, the variety of instructional, the variety of instructional materials used is evident. The laughter and enjoyment of the students are contagious. Contagious. So what will be the answer? What, which of the classroom activities? Kapag sinabi natin activities, okay, classroom activities below is effective. Okay? So the correct answer for this is the concept learned is applicable to daily life. That is effective. As a teacher, we need to apply, okay, you need to apply our lesson to our daily life. Okay, so that is the most effective classroom activities. So we need to apply that, we need to, uh, we need to apply that concept into daily life, real life. Okay? So next, <clears throat> the answer is letter A. Okay, which of the following characterizes best an effective classroom manager? Oh, diba? Uh, parati itong tinatanong sa professional education. Which of the following characterizes best an effective classroom manager? One who is friendly yet. So what will be the answer? A, we have rigid. Letter B, we have business-like. Okay? Uh, C, we have demanding. And then D, we have body-body. So what will be the answer? So the answer for number 22 is business-like. Okay? So that, will, that is an effective classroom uh, manager. Okay? Take note of these cheers. From day one, okay, from the day one, establish the expectation that no one in the class will be put down because of an incorrect answer. Future teachers, itinatanong ko sa situational question, okay? Establish the expectation that no one in the classroom will be put down because of an incorrect answer. Kasi minsan, estudyante, okay, nahihiya na siya mag-recite because siguro they are thinking baka mali yung sasabihin niya. Okay? Kaya walang, kula, walang interaction between teacher and student during presentation. Take note of that. Tell students they can learn from their mistakes. Like, for example, yung Coca-Cola, di ba? Coca-Cola started as a mistake. Okay? But ano yung outcome nito? Pumatok siya sa tao. Di ba? Post it. Diba? Nagkamali lang yung, yung kanilang production. But anong nangyari sa post-it ngayon? Post-it notes. Usable, especially sa schools, offices. Diba? Set an example by never using sarcastic or demanding language. Remember, 7% of your message comes from the words you say and then 93% from your non-verbal. Or that, that is body language and then also your gestures. Okay, I will give you some tips about classroom application. It is very important, okay? First, 
find ways to communicate to your class that you have the highest of expectation for them. So that is classroom application. Find ways to communicate to your class that you have in the highest expectation for them during the first day of the class. Take note of that. That they are the smartest group. You will not settle for anything less. Refer to them as bright, gifted, wonderful, and a joy to teach and mean it. Okay? As a teachers of uh, as a future teachers, we have to what we have to communicate to our class in the first day of the uh, school school. Okay, what what is our expectation to them? Watch them live. Watch them uh, live up with your expectation. Okay. Watch where you stand in the classroom. Another classroom, uh, classroom strategy. Kapag nagtuturo kayo as a future teacher, okay, teach on your feet. Sabi nga, teach on your feet, not on your seat. Because some of the teachers, pagkatapos ng klase niya, nakaupo lang siya. Right? Students, who feel good about their abilities will sit along the front row or in the middle of the room, while students who don't feel as good will sit at the back of the room. So as a teacher, okay, as a future teacher, place yourself in close proximity to all students by walking around the room. Okay, Stand near every student in the class at some point during the lesson. Kasi pag ginawa mo yun, there is a positive effect for the student. Ah, hindi pala ako pwede mag-absent kasi si teacher pumupunta sa aking pwesto during uh, the lesson. Di ba? There's a side effect. Ah, important pala ako kay teacher kasi pinupuntahan niya ako, minomonitor niya ako during the discussion. So there is a side effect to the student. Okay? Then, Leave the student and move on the next student. So, during your discussion, rooming around, okay? Para ma-feel ng student, okay? Ma-feel ng student that they belong, okay? Kasi dyan mo makukuha yung, sim yung ano ng student, okay? Yung pagbubutihin niya yung pag-aaral niya kasi si teacher, pinupuntahan siya sa kanyang location or sa kanyang area, di ba? They will be doing best para ma-impress. Kasi as a teacher, you should monitor your student. Okay? So there is a positive effect. If the prompt is not sufficient, assign a close partner or another student to work with the student needing help. Okay? Tell your student. Collaboration. Okay? This will free you to quickly determine whether student actually understand or if reteaching is necessary. You have to do evaluation. Okay, so that is the 21st century educators. Subject-centered, okay? Student-centered, no, student-centered, okay? The role of the teacher is a facilitator, okay? Always use real-life example to, uh, to illustrate points being made in the lesson. Always use real-life examples. Connect your lesson to a real-life examples. Open your lessons by telling students what they will be taught and why they need to learn it. Okay? If you relate content with students' life, they have reason for paying attention to the lesson. If you relate to students about life, love life, what will be the effect? Diba? They are very interested. Nagpo-participate sila. So as a future teachers, you have to connect your lesson to a real life situation. Okay? Minsan yung klase mo boring. So assign a, a cloud. Or as a teacher, 
uh, maybe buy a books na andun yung mga jokes. So every day, before you start, you have to tell jokes for them. Okay? Kasi minsan may positive effect. Sometimes yung bata, ay, hindi ako haabsent kasi si teacher mayroong jokes. Okay? To encourage, to motivate, para hindi maging boring yung, yung lesson mo. Teacher should have strategy. Okay? Take note of the teachers. Hindi na natin gagamitin yung Jurassic teacher. Diba? Na pagdating ng classroom, check the attendance. Okay? So, syempre, for that routine, mabuboring yung bata. There is a side effect, negative effect. Minsan, hindi napapasok yung bata kasi yung lesson ng teachers, routine. Yung activity ng teachers, routine. Okay? We have to innovate as a teacher, as a 21st century education. Kasi yung K-12 education is skills-oriented. Skills so we have to we have to train the student, okay? The kind of education needed today requires to be high-level knowledge workers who constantly advance their own professional knowledge as well as their profession. Teachers need to be the agents of innovation, diba? We are the agent of innovation. If we evaluate what is the learning of our student, of my student, Ano ba yung dapat kong baguhin? Ano ba yung pwede kong ibigay na strategy to motivate our student, to motivate your student? Because innovation cheers is critically important for generating new sources of growth through improved efficiency and productivity of the students. So we have to innovate. mag tayo, for example, when we, kapag nagbibigay tayo ng quiz, like for example, essay, okay? We have to think the strategy na kumbaga, like for example, yung ginagawa ng iba for this uh, 21st century education, nagpapa-play sila ng music, di ba? Yung instrumental music while answering the quizzes, while answering the exam, okay? So that is the uh, strategy that we could uh, share to our student. Because, you know, uh, listening to music, nakaka-relax yun ang mind. Okay? So you want to consider that strategy. The teachers also, quality education requires quality teachers. Take note of that. Quality teachers, quality requires quality education, requires quality teachers. Good teachers bring a shining light into the learning environment, ideal companions of the learners. So with advances in communication technology that we have, good teachers also needed to sort out the knowledge from the information, from the data that surrounds the learners, and from the wisdom from the knowledge. Okay? So as a teacher, we need to be well-versed in the subject they teach, the subject that we teach, okay? Hindi, hindi, natin, hindi, hindi tayo pwedeng magturo na hindi, na hindi tayo well-versed because hindi tayo makakapag-deliver ng quality education. That, that's why teachers uh, what, is a lifelong process, lifelong education process, okay? In order to be adapt at using different methods and approaches to, to optimize learning, no matter what is intended or planned, the teacher brings it to life. The way that this happens depends upon the individual teacher's expectation, experience, values, and knowledge. Take note of that. Good teachers ensures that learners from all cultures and economic backgrounds feel security, Affirmation, validation, affiliation, and affinity. Effective teachers work in a highly collaborative way. Take note of that. Working with other teachers, professionals, and paraprofessionals, 
networks of professional communities and different partners arrangement that is to be an effective teachers we need to work in a highly collaborative ways diba dun sa drill natin we have to build a relationship with the student and our co-teachers okay teachers need to acquire strong skills in technology for now we have a pandemic majority of the school they are using online platform so we need to acquire strong skills in technology and the use of technology as an effective teaching tool do not as a future teacher do not use cartulina okay we have available resources we have digital resources in their teaching and use information management system to track student learning okay so that is some techniques on how to be an effective teachers on how to handle classroom management i will be discussing more okay so but for those who want to enroll uh, enrollment is up to may 31 because you know the di the difficult part of let exam is professional education you have to know the basic okay the concept okay the concept the theories after that we will proceed to the application or the situational okay we will apply that concept okay into a situational take note of the cheers maraming bumabagsak sa prof ed because of that question situational questions we don't know how to uh we don't know how to apply that concept that theories into a situational when you enroll in a re review okay marami kayong matututunan okay because as a review center we apply those theories in concept to a situation because we have the expert we have the uh, expertise faculty okay so now i will discuss you uh some approaches of curriculum so only just just for a few minutes so we have content based okay Content base is designed to start with identifying the contents that students have to learn. Okay. Also, we have a subject base. Okay. We have also learner centered. We have societal base. So those are the uh, types, the types of curriculum development. So for now, students, that's all. So. Tomorrow, don't forget to attend uh, for all the social studies major. We have also live uh, review. Okay. So after this, just check my page. Uh, we have pre-board exam. Just try, just answer the pre-board exam. And then we will be selecting some student na pwedeng maging scholars for, for our review. So the result will be on Sunday. Okay. So for now, uh, Thank you very much for, for this opportunity. So those who want to enroll for the online, we have still a slot. We have 50% discount until May 31. Okay, For SPLE, we will start the review by June 8, uh, UAA time at 7 p.m. And then for, for let BLEPT Philippines, we will start on June 8 also uh, at around 7 p.m. 6 to 7 p.m. So we will allot three hours. So the first subject on June 8 is professional education. And then also for the uh, SPL in Middle East, we will start also professional education. For all social studies major, uh, we, we will be giving uh, 10 scholars this coming uh, anniversary on uh, May 29. Okay, so just uh, keep updated and informed with the announcement okay uh, major ship will be for for social studies we have a lot of uh, lecturer so for social studies for sure it will be everyday uh, review so please uh, register and then enroll enrollment is up to may 31 okay so good afternoon here uh, in the middle east uh, good morning in the Middle East and then good, 
good afternoon in the Philippines. Thank you, cheers, and then keep safe always. Okay? And then take time to review. Kapag meron kayong spare time, read, 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 and read. Comprehend. Sinasabi ko, comprehend. Okay? I have also three, re three comprehensive reviewers. I have for general education. We have for social studies. Okay? Ang dami ko sa social studies last uh, exam, last September 2019. Okay? That includes also handouts. If you avail the books, including the handouts. Okay? Also, we have professional education. Updated questions for professional education. So, most of our uh, uh, questions is in the pre-board. Some questions is in the pre-board. So, please uh, try to answer the pre-board exam. Malay nyo, baka isa ka sa maging scholar ng uh, Teacher A Online Review Center. Okay? Hindi natin alam na is, uh, you are a lucky. Okay? So, we will announce. We will announce the result by May 29. Okay? Uh, for that, cheers. Thank you so much, and then have a good day. God bless.